Hello everybody, my name is Adam Lear from Next Edition. As you can see the clock is ticking already, so I've got 10 minutes to pop up a channel and I'm going to run some movies in that channel and then basically broadcast that on YouTube. And then at some point in time I'm also going to drop in there and do like a kind of a faux live show by using the studio that's 35 kilometers away in Malmo. And I can control that all here from my basement pub, which is very glamorous. But I've got to hurry up because the clock is ticking. Just so you know what you can see here, above me is the studio output, which is feeding the TX output, which is the black screen on the top right. Uh, so when we get going, that rundown will be what we, we'll be using to play out the channel. And then at the bottom right there, that's the next edition user interface that I'm going to use to put this all together. Okay, and obviously here is me. So in, without any further ado, because the clock is ticking, let's get this 10 minutes rolling. So the first thing I want to do is to create a new rundown. So I'm going to click on the plus button. And when I do that, these are all the new things I can create in next. Uh, so I'm going to go rundown. Uh, here's a new rundown. So I just get a blank rundown. I'm going to call that channel playout. And then what I'll do is I'll take the, the rundown and put that into the largest doll of Russian doll of all. You know, with the Russian dolls, little ones into little ones. The largest doll of all to us is a gallery. Uh, so I'm going to put that into the studio gallery here. I'm just going to grab the rundown and drag the drop that in. Channel play out there. OK, so now I have the channel play out rundown in there. I'm just going to create two segments in there. OK, so segment one and segment two. And segment one, I'm going to call the movie loop. This is where I'm going to loop the movies. And segment two is going to be called the live show. OK, so that's where I'm going to have the live show. So I'm starting to build effectively the, uh, the schedule for the, uh, for the day effectively inside the channel here. So that's great. I've done that. So now I'm going to create a new script. Uh, so script. And in that script, I'm going to create my movie loop. So here's the blank script now. Come up here. I'm going to call this the movie playout. Uh, now, I've got an option here, of course, I could, you know, if I take these long form media, I could just drag and drop these movies in here. That's not a problem. But the problem with that is that I'll have to populate an hour and that's really quite, you know, manual task. I want it to be much more elegant than that. So I'm going to go into um, into here and find in my events, a rotation event, and I've got a dynamic children rotation. And I'm going to call this uh, dynamic movie rotation. And what this element does, or that this event does, is if I give it a duration, so if I give this a duration of one hour, it will automatically pick from a search enough material to populate the hour. Uh, so I don't have a search in here right now, so that's probably what I've got to do next. Uh, so I'll just come back to my channel player here, and I'm going to put this in to its segment here. So here's the movie playout. You can see again above me here, you can start it's starting to assemble itself up there. Uh, there's nothing happening at the moment. And the reason for that is because we haven't got a, a search put in here. So we need to build a search to populate it. So let's go. OK, uh, I'm going to call the search playout. And I'm going to store the search to my bookmarks here. And then I'm going to go to the advanced search editor. And I'm going to kill that search actually in, in favor of a very defined set of rules. So the types needs to be so it's type of file needs to be a media video. So type needs to be a video. Here it is. And the tag here, let's type in tags. Tags needs to be uh, play out. Okay. So uh, search for assets that match all the following conditions. It is a video and it is tagged with play out. Now you can see there's nothing here. So because there's nothing here, that's because there's nothing tagged with play out. Okay. So the next thing to do is to try and populate this search. So in order to do that, before I do that, in fact, I'm actually going to go back here to the dynamic movie rotation and I'm going to add the play out search here to there and give it a weight of one. And again, nothing happens because there's nothing in the search. So we have an empty uh, script with no events and no material at all. So now if I go to my pla if I go to my long form media here, this is where I've got some stuff. So I've got like the classic big butt bunny. And if I click play out on that and this one, I click play out on this one. You see that the uh, rundown is now automatically starting to populate itself to fill the hour duration that I've given it. So I just give it those ones. And what it's using to fill that is whatever's in here. So these four videos are being used to populate an hour. And it's done as well as it can. It's It's got to one hour and 56 seconds. So um, 
it will do some adjustments. It's also doing some rendering. So I think the Sintel video, it's probably never seen before and it thinks it needs to conform it. So it's conforming that, but the others will play well. Also, if something's not conformed and you need to do the render, the machine will play it if it thinks it can get to the end. Right, so next thing we do is we have to go back to the gallery here and open up the gallery so we can see that. This is all fine. I guess what we could probably do is actually start the, the show. Now the channel's playing, so we're playing these VTs. Uh, I've got a live show that I wanted to drop in, so I'm just gonna, I've got a script that we made earlier. So here's, uh, I know that's cheating a little bit, but there's a news intro that we use in the demo. I'm just gonna drop that in here. And this is very simple, it's not hard. Uh, there's a video wall here, some opening titles, a camera with a name suit. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's effectively our live show right there. Okay, so now, Let's get oh, it onto fine. YouTube as fast as possible. I'm so I'm just going to bring my YouTube clip You're here done. up and uh, I'm gonna go live. So you click up here, go live. Robots memory synced. Perfect. And uh, I'm going to go to the streaming section of YouTube Studio. I actually have a next live here that I've uh, already set up before and used, so I'm just going to borrow this that one. This is pretty freaky. It's creating the Oh yeah, save all of that, that's fine. Uh, and then here's the stream URL, so we'll just have that, I think. Copy that. Um, and now I'm back in Next here. Uh, I will go to my streams. I can just make that a bit bigger. So I've got a streaming asset in here, and that streaming asset is pulling actually here. You can see this is, uh, this is Studio One output, so here we can see exactly what's coming out of the channel. Uh, so I've got a, a restreaming endpoint I can add to that, so let's just paste that in. Whoops. That's not what I was expecting. Let's just <laughs> copy the uh, URL, paste that in. Okay, and also I need the stream key, so let's copy the stream key. Just need to put the screen key on the end there. There's the stream key and add it. And now that's added, so that restreamer should now start to connect up here with the YouTube Studio. Shouldn't you be down there? Come on, YouTube. Don't let me down. There we go. I think it's got it. Right, guys, and it's ready to go live thing. now. Okay. Don't Just switch don't back to thing. this. Uh, okay. So it's now going live. And there we go. So if I go back to my uh, YouTube channel here quickly and go to the videos, here we can see here's my live channel. So that's up and running. We're now live on YouTube. So I'm going to go back to my gallery here. Uh, and uh, obviously, you know, if I want to skip that one and move into Elephant Stream, I can change that. And you'll see we'll start a new video directly here inside uh, YouTube. So I've got complete control of it from here. And the really cool thing is, what about if I wanted to jump into the new show? So uh, I'll just make that the next queue here and I'll just queue it. And uh, in we go. So now we're switching over to the studio live in Malmo, live on YouTube. And with the name. I rest my case in that time. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it.